you were listening to Brad with the Heritage Cast. So, I ended up getting my second sponsorship with Rock Rooster. I want to thank Rock Rooster for hooking me up because nobody else took a chance on me. And Rock Rooster did. You know, I reached out to a bunch of different boot companies. And this was the only ones that uh, really took their time to uh, work with me and get me what I was looking for. My previous video was on a mock toe boot that they had, but this is their more work inspired, you know, everyday throw these on and go to a go to a warehouse type of type of boot. Um, I was really interested in the fact that it was a, a higher boot and um, on the on the taller side with a bunch of of cushioning to uh, to support you know your ankles and all that to kind of once I get a custom pair of boots you need to kind of you know go back and forth between these and and something else so these are the rock rooster soft toe non-insulated woodland boots um what's cool is they come in a, a extra wide um although it says wide i'm pretty sure it's ee although this is wide so at least online it comes in easy, so I'm not really sure um, if there's two different versions. There is. It's kind of cool. So I was getting these to kind of replace my minerals. Um, had these for a while, but they're getting kind of worn out. And I uh, was really excited, actually, to have my second sponsorship, which is kind of flipping cool. So let's see. It comes with a uh, warranty. Warranty service sort of deal. One-year warranty. Okay, it's pretty legit. And what does it cover? Let's say. Um, doesn't exactly say the warranty piece, but honestly, with how legit, uh, with how legit they are, and to, hey, they're giving you ten dollars coupon off of a uh, off your next boots if you uh, you post a uh, you post online with their official sort of deal. Okay, I can dig that. So I was really interested in these, and I'm also fascinated with this uh, these toe caps um, that they have on this, which uh, was really interesting to me. Is something that you don't really see on a lot of boots so far, or something that uh, that at least gives you some sort of protection, but not the whole um, steel toe sort of thing. I physically can't do it. My feet are going to bleed by the end of the day. So something like this for me was really cool and uh, taller to keep me on my feet. So, and uh, since doing bodybuilding and whatnot to get above 700 pounds leg press, um, I use boots to do that. So I'd, I'm not sure why people would risk their legs and feet and hips by uh, using uh, their regular feet. But to be honest with me, I'm looking to, I'm going to be doing bodybuilding in these and doing some leg presses and and some uh, good push and a weight. And uh, I'm liking this. Uh, this almost reminds me of the, the the Rose Anvil idea, where you have this this uh, extra leather cap, and it actually feels like that's real. So there's a piece of fabric. There's a, a elastic or plastic kind of piece there. Um, let's see if I can pull this back. Uh, that part is wrapped around. At least so I think this might actually be two pieces of fabric that's kind of over here so I, I like this uh, rose anvil ND D1 idea where you have double double the protection so um, yeah this is kind of cool I, I like this kind of construction method and and uh, I think there's an opportunity with the heritage side of things to where to take like, a design like this but use like exquisite materials um, chrome XL or wicked wicked or um, another tannery and uh, do some sort of like in between, right? So you still have your your uh, glued on construction, but then you have like fancy materials, right? They kind of have like an in between, right? So you can keep a price point kind of lower, but then still have something that's nice. I think there's an opportunity that's there that somebody needs to jump on. I've only seen Rock Rooster have a glued on mock toe. Um, now that one didn't work for me personally. But I think there's an opportunity with that kind of design, or this type of design, where you have multiple types of features and whatnot, and then you can actually add, like, better leathers and do multiple construction methods. 
This has been Brad with Heritage Cast. Please check out Rock Rooster. Um, you can go to rockrooster.com and uh, check them out. And these are the Woodland Boots. I got these in 13 and in wide. And it says it has Comfort Memo. Comfort Memo anti-fatigue technology. I don't know what that means, but it sounds legit, though. So, tour of that. Oh, I like this. It has some sort of back protection deal back here. Okay. Go and check them out, and, uh, you know, for 100 bucks or so, I mean... I, there's not too many things that are out there that, that are this comfortable and will give you this much uh, protection at the same time um, for light duty. This is not like a hardcore construction boot, obviously, but um, you can do warehousing and that sort of stuff. And you're going you're gonna to rip these things up in regular construction, but um, in everyday sort of work, you know, you can utilize these things really good and they'll hold up. So everything I've seen online so far has been pretty good. So definitely check them out and thank you for watching. Thank you so much.